Hi friends. So today's wellness minutes are about reducing the amount of waste going into the landfill that we each generate in our homes. So everybody's aware this environment is struggling right now with climate change and global warming and our landfills filling up. We just have too much people and too many garbage, too much garbage, too much waste for our environment to handle it. So everybody wants to do their part and some are doing more than others, but I thought I would just um, kind of bring to your attention some of the things that you can be doing. Now, first of all, if you are packing a lunch for either yourself or your children to go to school, then are you using reusable containers? Because that's like the easiest thing to incorporate into your lifestyle. And they've come so far, the containers, the reusable ones. Um, everything from thermoses to glass containers, storage containers, to bento boxes, to reusable utensils, and those um, vinyl coated uh, sandwich bags. And they've come a long way with health as well. They're not BPA um, chemical laden products anymore. Um, they're healthy and they're reusable. And as, as much as they're a bit of an investment right off the hop, they pay off leaps and bounds and you can use them for a very long time. So if you're not using the usable containers, then I would recommend that is something you incorporate into your life. And it's a feel good feeling too, to be able to use uh, kind of a funky looking, um, you know, storage container. It's kind of nice. Now, um, are you using when you're per when you're going and doing your grocery shopping, are you taking with you your reusable shopping bags? Are you taking with you your reusable mesh bags for produce and things so that you're not having to constantly take a new baggie off the off the wheel when you're getting your produce or your fruit? Um, you know, nature is pretty awesome and things like oranges and corn, uh, corn cobs, they come in their own packaging already. So you don't need to put them in anything else, maybe just something to corral them together. So it's uh, easy for the checkout person. Um, but so are you using these types of things in your day to day? And then are you, when you're making your selections, say for something like avocados, are you buying them independently, individually, or are you buying them in their mesh netting, that mesh um, green plastic netting that you can get like tangerines in or lemons or um, avocados, things like that are starting to be meshed together. Now I understand sometimes that these things are on sale and, uh, we tend to want to get them because they're a quick grab, they're easy, but that's a lot of plastic ending up in the landfill. And the unfortunate part about that is the more we select these products, the more the suppliers are going to use that type of packaging. So we really need to vote with our dollars and start buying things that aren't, um, you know, so wasteful because Unfortunately, some of these suppliers and manufacturers, they're just doing what is convenient. And we need to kind of change the precedent on that and start to take things that are a little bit more. And maybe for the interim, they cost a few more pennies, but buyers and consumers, it's, uh, you know, supply and demand. So if we're demanding more things that are without packaging, then that's what we're going to get. Um, things that are on on styrofoam containers like uh, a cut open melon or um, a bunch of mushrooms sliced into um, you know a plastic uh, container you need to ask yourself if that's really necessary because a lot of times um, super uh, superstores or grocery markets will have like paper bags for mushrooms or they'll or, you know or you can just get the whole melon right um, and if your grocery store doesn't have that, feel free to ask them and say like, hey, do you have um, paper bags for your mushrooms? Because the more people that ask them, that's something that's going to, um, you know, amount to something. Um, and then I realize that everyone's really busy when it comes to um, cooking and baking. But if you start to cook from scratch and if you start to bake, um, and if you batch bake, you know, you could potentially make yourself like two dozen muffins and you can freeze some of them. And instead of having to plunk out, you know, five or six dollars for um, six muffins in this gigantic plastic container, you're going to save yourself a lot of money in the long run. You're going to save yourself time because you're going to batch cook it and or bake it. And you're going to save a ton of plastic from going into the landfill. And it just seems to be the accepted norm now that we're buying these type of packaged foods, but they're really not necessary. Um, likewise, are you shopping at the bulk barn or are you buying things in bulk? Uh, still a way to save money, right? Um, and are you, are you going to any of the refillable stores? Like there are local stores that you can go and refill your shampoo bottles or refill your soap bottles. And, um, you know, 
you can decrease a lot of the waste that way. You can also consider switching to some of your products like, um, you know, toothpaste. Uh, it's not only an option in a squeeze tube anymore. You know, you can have a powdered toothpaste or you could have pellets, uh, soap pellets, shampoo um, pellets. There's all sorts of different things that work just as good, um, but maybe they don't have the brand name attached to it that you're not necessarily partial to, but you're just used to purchasing it because you just always have. So just to consider some of these options um, as ways to, you know, decrease your, the garbage that's going into your garbage weekly and daily, and also to set the precedent and, and be a good example for your children and the people around you to also take your lead and really start to incorporate some of these ways um, that we can just all work together to, to ensure that our environment is going to last for as long as possible. So I hope these ideas helped and I hope that you um, take on a challenge and challenge yourself to try to get less and less all the time as far as your waste and to the point where, you know, maybe you don't even have hardly any garbage to put out when it comes to garbage day. And wouldn't that be fantastic? Food for thought. Stay healthy, friends.